I'm Joseph Salama, I'm a physician and I'm an orthopedic physician. Uh, orthopedic uh, surgery is the art and science of medicine that involve the treatment of bone and joints. In order to become a physician, you have to attend college. You have to graduate high school and then attend college and uh, go to medical school, which I did. And I spent uh, uh, most of my education here at Wayne State University, both an undergraduate and in medical school. And then after I finished that uh, um, schooling, I entered in a five-year training program that did involve uh, first internal medicine, then general surgery, then orthopedics. And then after finishing a five-year training program, I, I entered in the private practice of orthopedic surgery. Uh, I've, been I've been an orthopedic surgeon uh, since 19 uh, 80. Over the years, uh, my practice has become uh, mostly uh, arthritic uh, practice. I treat a lot of uh, uh, shoulder, elbows, and, and um, uh, hips and knees. Uh, the knee, it, it, you know, when we go through the structure around the knee in order to regain uh, the range of motion, it's sometimes uh, difficult, sometimes it's painful, and the individual has to uh, really be diligent to follow through um, the, uh, the activity that we are prescribing to them. Uh, recently, we've been familiar with the X10 machine, and my experience with the X10 machine has been tremendous. Uh, um, it, it, I've tried it on myself. It is a great tool to have. Uh, that tool will, uh, will, it kind of, the patient is uh, actually the driver in here. He actually, or she actually drive the motion and the machine will help enhance that without causing them pain. So, and, and, and we have been, uh, in, the, in the short experience that we have, we've been a tremendous result. We're very happy with uh, uh, this machinery. Ideally, you would like to, uh, the patient to go home. Uh, number, number one, uh, home uh, is the cleanest part, if you can be at home. Uh, you have the physical therapists that come to the house. Uh, you have the extend machine uh, if the, their insurance afford or can, 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 can authorize it. They've been uh, delighted with that machine. They've been, uh, their range of motion has been substantially improved. They're quick on rehab, uh, even as an outpatient after the, uh, the extend machine has been used and their patients are very satisfied and very happy with the outcome. If they are happy, I am happy. If some individual, after their knee replacement, if they don't participate in the rehab program, they become stiff, and we have what we call a manipulation under anesthesia. We'll put them to sleep and we'll bend their knee to sort of get them a better range of motion. Then having an exit machine to begin with will avoid them to have the manipulation, so why, uh, if it's successful from the get-go, why not? I think if it continues to do what it's been doing in the short experience, I think it's going to be, it's going to revolutionize, number one, the machine. There'll be a uh, patient satisfaction that are going to be substantially improved. And the way medicine is going today and the way the reimbursement, the medical reimbursement is going to be, it's going to be based on your um, track record. The way orthopedic surgeons are going to be reimbursed in, in the very near future is on patient satisfaction and outcomes. If the outcomes uh, are great and if this machine does what it, it has done in the short run, then eventually the patient are going to be very satisfied and the outcome are going to be significantly improved. If they don't get readmitted, if they don't get re-manipulated, that will save significant amount of money from the insurer and I think the insurer will um, uh, champion this. They will actually seek orthopedic surgeons that use the machine if they have terrific outcome. Insurance companies are going to kind of tend to send their patient to those practices that have terrific outcome. And, and less complication, less readmission. So from that standpoint, uh, this machine may play a terrific role. The idea by early range of motion is to avoid spread tissue. Um, if, if you don't bend your knee, if you are stiff, you're gonna develop spread tissue, and that's a challenge to um, any orthopedic surgeon that has been faced with a stiff knee. If the knee has not uh, responded to where he or she, by the surgeon, by he or she, the surgeon, that uh, are we're frustrated. You obviously want the best for your patient. So if the patient um, move along quickly, as I said, at, at, at two weeks, if they're bending their knee at 90, 95 degrees or more, you're very happy because you know that outcome is going to be superb. Um, uh, if they don't and, and they're kind of slow and they don't bend their knee, then they will develop scar tissue and it's going to be a challenge to overcome this. 
I see the extend machine here a, a role if they start bending the knee quickly uh, and without, too, without pain, if they're able to uh, move their knee and move along quickly, then this, the issue of scar tissue will disappear.